Hey there everyone, Spartan412 here, bringing you an update on the Sling Fire. I talked about it in my Range Day video just earlier today. Yes, two videos in one day, well. But, well, I might as well just start showcasing it. At the moment, it is far too cold to be able to spray paint outside and let it properly cure. So, the Sling Fire is still in its default Zombie Strike scheme. I will be doing a white paint job with blue accents in the future, but for now, it's all stock. Or at least the shell is, but as you can see inside, it's been fully revamped. Metal gears and obviously the lever itself. Metal bolt sled. The worker half dart breech kit. And yes, as Walcom and as American Foam have said, it was a pain in the butt to shave down and dremel out the muzzle area over here to get this little piece to fit in, but I got it done. It works out. At the moment, I'm actually going to experiment with a double spring because both the gear kit and the half dart breech kit came with the springs. And at the moment, with only one of them, it's somewhere around 100, 110 FPS, maybe, maybe 90. I'm not sure. No chronograph yet. <laughs> so, yeah, until I get that figured out, it's kind of stuck like this. However, though, as I said, I probably will be getting a crony. In the meanwhile though, it's just an experimentation. I have not fired it yet, but so far it is able to be primed. I just don't know if it will catch as well, but we're about to find out soon enough. Of course, I have myself a 15 round towel in over here, loaded up and ready to fire. So I'll catch up with you guys outside and ready to shoot. Alright, so as I was kind of expecting, double coiling the two springs that came with these kits did not bode well like it did not want to compress enough to be able to be caught so rather than doing that I decided to open up my modded retaliator which has a nine kilogram worker spring inside and compare it to the one that comes with the kits as it turns out the density the kit versions right here they actually feel a bit more lighter than the nine kg that was in my retaliator so I'll be throwing this guy into the sling fire putting in the weaker spring into the retaliator and just seeing how well that improves the performance and distances of the sling fire. Alright, so we're outside now and what we have here is of course the sling fire. And yes, the the 9 kilogram spring from my retaliator does fit and it does operate well with the sling fire after all. So they are in fact identical. It's just a matter of their function, lever action versus top prime. So yeah, that's good to know. And the metal bolt sled was actually designed to take, you know, to help the blaster take in springs that are, you know, 10 kilogram weight or beyond that. So, with a 9 kilogram spring, this thing can fire and load no problem. But I'll definitely bump it up if I want to. Either way, springs are rather cheap and foam blast and out of darts are just like two states away from me. So, travel time to get here is not that much either. Alright, enough of that chit chat. The half dart breech is a bit finicky, like the O-rings do in fact squeeze very tightly into the clear piece over here. But well, better seal after all, so it's just a matter of breaking this guy in. As you've seen in a lot of videos, Sling Fire is a very finicky product. So close. Hey. Nope. Okay, I thought I accidentally like knocked the mag out. Ooh, just a bit to the left. Just a bit under, over, to the left, see if I have any more. Alright, I got like a good two shots, so let's see if one of them could hit the target. That one veered off to the corner. Hey, there it is. And that. 
Nope, there's still a few more. Let's see if I could get the three shots in. Way too high. I think I'll be sanding off or just cutting off this top part of the muzzle piece just so that the iron sights can line up even easier. Ooh. Just short. Ooh. And yep, we're out. So yeah, that was the Sling Fire Showcase. I like that little pop. So yeah, that was a Sling Fire. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll definitely be giving this guy a white, on, a blue on white paint job when the weather warms up for it. Or, you know, the nighttime weather. I'm going to miss the cold season in Arizona. The desert's not the greatest thing. <laughs> Especially during the, you know, these times. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. More gameplays coming up now as well. I just wanted to showcase modified blasters in the meanwhile. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.